So Windows 7 on your Fire Stick, Fire TV, Android TV. Well, let's see if I can move this shape around. Good old Tetris. And uh, let's bring this one down here. Looking good. Let's now minimize this. And we are looking at a really nice collection of games. Let's close this down. I now see my Windows 7 home screen. And just to confirm guys, I am on my third generation Fire TV Cube. We can see I've created a folder on the desktop. Let's click on start. I can now browse the menu. I can access the internet. Uh, let's just go to uh, bbc.com and we can see we have a fully working browser. I can click on start and I can even see my Amazon applications through this application. So if I click on all programs, here you can see your familiar Amazon applications like we have Amazon Music, Amazon Photos. I can scroll down. Let's say, for example, I want to start one of my installed Amazon applications like Explore. I can click on that and I can even launch my applications through this Windows 7 simulation. So in this video today, let me show you how you can get this Windows 7 simulation working on all of your Android devices. It comes with a bunch of games. You can make changes. You can create your own login. You can see I've created a folder on the desktop and it just has lots of different things you can experience directly on your device. Here, for example, I'm playing some Minecraft and I can now start enjoying this game on my Amazon Fire TV Cube. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, Let's get If you're new started. to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So to get the latest version of this on all of your Android devices, but you can even use it on your Apple devices, really any device with a browser, just head over to my website, which is techdoctoruk.com. Click on the hamburger menu, click on tutorials, and the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can get this Windows 7 simulator emulator on all of your devices. Let's open that up. Here we are. So we can see some of the features that it has. Personalization. You can have interactive desktop, access the internet, media player. If you keep scrolling down, you should see two links. Now, if you do want to test this on your Android device, your Fire Stick, your Fire TV, your Android TV, your Android phone, your Android tablet, you want to go for the first link. Click on that link there and you can then click on download and install. If you just want to test this via a browser just to see what it's like, you can go for the second link. So I'm going to go for the first one as I'm doing this on my third generation Fire TV Cube. Click on download now and that will install the latest version. Once you've done that, let's now press the home key. Okay, so before I open the application, just a quick pointer that to really get the full benefit of the app, you do have to use some kind of virtual mouse. In my example, I'm just using a Bluetooth uh, mouse and keyboard. It just makes the whole experience a lot easier. Now, unlike the Windows 11 emulator where you can't even log in, with this one, you can actually use your standard remote control. You can log in, but again, to get that full experience, I do recommend some kind of virtual mouse. Let's open that up for the first time. I mean, it even shows you that, like you can access the BIOS. And if you press the button, as you can see now, I'm looking at a, a virtual BIOS screen. So just for that more authenticity, they really have done a fantastic job with this. Okay, so let's now click on exit disregarding changes. Click on okay. And we should now be booting into Windows 7. I think after Windows XP, Lots of people found this to be the next best operating system from Microsoft. Windows 8 was a massive no-no. Windows 10 has been a bit hit and miss. And I know some people are happy with Windows 11. Okay, so here we can see I can use the standard mouse. If I click on the icon here, it will log in as guest. But you can click on switch user and create your own account. And if I bring up the virtual mouse, we can see if I click on switch user, you can see the account I previously created. So you can actually create your own account if you want to have a different profile versus the guest one. But for this demonstration to make things a bit easier, let's just click on guest. And in a couple of seconds, you will now be taken into this Windows 7 interface. And as you can see, guys, I did create this folder before. So unlike the Windows 11 emulator, which was more just like a simulation, 
where you couldn't make any changes. Whereas on this one, you can create files, create folders, and even create your own login. Now again, using the virtual mouse, I can go to the start. You can open up a browser and let's click on that. Let's just type in techdoctoruk.com. Click on next. So we have a fully working browser and I can now fully access my website. So if you were to use some streaming sites, I know some of you do use those third party streaming websites, you can access all of that through here and enjoy all of your favorite content. Let's close that down. You can also do a right click on the desktop, go to personalize. Now, for example, I can choose one of these themes and uh, let's go for architecture. And in a couple of seconds, that changes our wallpaper. And we're now looking at a different skinned Windows 7. Now, the real interesting thing with this one versus the Windows 11 uh, simulator was when you get to all programs, it actually shows you all of your installed Amazon applications. So you could potentially use this as a separate launcher. So as you can see, I'm not seeing any adverts. I can click on all programs and I can now browse all of the apps installed on my third generation Fire TV Cube. So if I wanted to open up my new TDUK app killer, I can click on that and that actually launches the app killer. And let's do a quick test. How many apps do I have running in the background? I've got six running in the background. Okay, let's press the back button and we're back to Windows 7. So what an alternative, slightly quirky way of accessing your applications through this Windows 7 interface where you're not gonna see any home screen adverts, you're not gonna see any Amazon sponsored content. And I can now use this interface to access all of my Amazon applications. Now lots of you will be interested in the games that are included. So let's click on games. Now I've tried most of these and most of these are actually working absolutely fine. So uh, let's try this uh, uh, doodle cricket. All right, so we only have one button to press, which is this one here. Let's see if I can bat something. Take that. All right, not bad. Oh, nice curveball there, right? Nice score of one there. Okay, let's try that again. I'll probably edit that out, but all right. So let's try that again. Oh, look at that. And I think that's what you call a, a six. So, all right, so that's working great. Let's close that down. Now the Minecraft survival was actually a really good game. I spent quite a lot of time going through the levels. So it's very basic, but you just have to get your guy to land on where it says land here. So I need to, obviously I can't touch the fire. So I can destroy this one. Uh, I can maybe destroy this one. All right, destroy that one and I've actually completed the level. So some of them are actually quite challenging. Let's try the next one. All right, so I need to go over there somehow. So if I uh, bring this one down. All right, so I got burnt there, so I don't wanna get burnt. Let's try that again. So maybe if I, uh, all right, remove the fire first, bring this down fly across, land on my head, but as long as you land there, you've completed the level. But overall guys, you can see lots of different things to do, lots of different things to play about with, a great way for you to access your different applications. You can browse the internet, you can change the background. And just for a bit of fun, just something different to do on your Fire Stick or Fire TV, I definitely think this Windows 7 simulator is definitely worthwhile checking out. And another thing that's also worthwhile checking out is this super special offer from IPVanish, whereby you can get complete protection for all of your devices for just over $3 a month. So to get that total protection, to change your IP address, to hide your online activities, to access geolocked content, I definitely think this offer is worthwhile checking out. So really appreciate your support. Do leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about this Windows 7 simulator and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.